welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a scrapbook process video for the Wild Hair Kits. And this is a photo I'm using, a simple little photo of my husband and I, and I'm matting it with some white cardstock. Um, if you want to see what is in my kit this month, you can check out the video I posted on the second of the month. For this kit, I got a petite kit. Sorry, a petite kit. That kind of like all ran as one word. Um, a petite kit rather than a deluxe that I usually get. And what I did was I combined it with a lot of other products from older kits, from past kits, which worked perfectly because the things from your past kits are all of your style and what you like and what you're, you prefer working with. So um, it was kind of easy to mix and match. Uh, this 6x6 six six paper pad from Pink Fresh Studio, I think I got... Um, in one of my very first kits, but I've held on to it and it matches really well with this kit. And I, I'm, I'm really getting through it, which is so awesome. Cause like I said, it was from almost, or pro probably about a year ago, probably more than a year ago. So it's really just been sitting around, um, gathering dust. So it is awesome that I've been able to use a lot of it and a lot of the scraps as well. It's really great. So today I am using the sketch, which I totally forgot to show you, but it actually ends up looking nothing like the sketch. Um, but I was inspired by it and I came up with this idea. So I probably would not have come up with this idea if I didn't have the sketch, if that makes sense. So that is always a wonderful thing about a sketch. Um, yeah, so I am cutting up little squares from the paper pad, and I believe they're two by two inches, and I just laid them out in a pattern that I liked, and I think I'm going to adhere them all down now. Oh, no, I'm going to distress the edges. You're going to boringly watch me distress the edges. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm distressing the edges just with my scissors so anyone can do this. Um, and I really think this helps with the dimension. I don't think I put any of them up on, um, on foam. So this was another way to get dimension just in a different way. So doing this to all of the papers and... Um, what else? Yeah, so I, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about what the Wild Hair Kits is if you have never uh, heard of them or bought from them before. Um, so basically on their website, you fill out a style profile and you there's questions like, who are your favorite designers? Um, what projects are you working on? Things like that. And you fill it out and even if you want to just like see what it's like to fill it out, you can go on their website and fill it a little profile. And obviously like you don't, you, you don't have to go through with it, but you can at least fill out a style profile to see what it's like. And then, um, the curators at the wild hair kits will send you a kit based on your style profile, um, with products you love and it's a hand curated just for you. So no one else will have the same kit, which is so cool. And the, it's not like it's a monthly commitment. You just fill out the style profile whenever you want a new kit. So you can get it four times a month, or you can get it every four months or whatever you want, whenever you're feeling like you need some more supplies. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the papers from the squares and matting my photo so that it kind of all ties together. And again, I'm distressing the edges. I'm just doing really small mats on this and um, doing it kind of layered. You can't totally see, but they're not all even. Um, so that is kind of a little tip for layering. Um, and I have that little Pink Fresh Studio um, ephemera pack that I was trying to make work, but it wasn't totally working, but that's okay. Um, another video you'll see soon, I use a lot of those. It's actually a handmade embellishments video, so I think you'll like it. Again, trying them, and they were just a little too small for, for the layers I had already put on. But of course, I always use a doily, so I knew I would want that, and I'm going to put the photo on some foam to give it some dimension. There we go. All right, and putting those away, <laughs> I gave up. <laughs> I uh, accepted defeat. It wouldn't work. So I'm going to go into these mixed embellishments that are just the best. 
They're from Pink Fresh Studio. I studio. I think they're called Just a Little Lovely and uh, the collection. I think. Um, and adding some other little pieces there, some different circular elements. And I am grabbing this just from my stash, um, the word stay, and then I'm going to get some other thickers from my stash and write the word or put down the word positive. This was actually a couple weeks after my dad had died, um, this year. So I was off work for a few weeks and, you know, just not feeling great, but I was feeling grateful for Andy and, um, my husband and, just because it was such a horrific time. Um, so that's why the photo looks kind of gloomy and sad, but I think the, um, the papers and stuff that I'm using brighten it up a little bit and hopefully add a little bit of, of positivity to the layout itself. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the time it was, set in. I'm, I'm really starting to work through my albums now and getting a lot done, which is great because I don't love being too behind. Um, and I have some of these clear acetate flowers or florals from Pink Fresh Studio from, I think, two kits ago. And those were added in my kit. And trying to see what else will work, but I don't really add too much more. Um, but I do add some free stickers. Here we go. And I'm just going to add a few of those and then you'll see a close up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're feeling a little bit inspired and, um, yeah, so adding three of those and here's the close up. Oh, and I did add some enamel dots. I don't know if that was in the video or not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your day. Talk to you soon. Bye.